Hey guys, Tim here, and we're gonna try out a different type of fire today. It's called the Dakota Fire Hole, or the Dakota Fire Pit, and I love trying out different types of fires. I also like the idea of practicing it before we're going out and on the trail or into the woods anywhere. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Careful not to fall in bed. Got this hole, let me get my shadow out of the way. And so we have a hole about, ah, I'd say about 12 inches deep. And uh, stick it with a spade and, or shovel and we'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna dig another hole exactly like this one. What are you doing? And basically what you're doing is you're going to make a, a U-shape, if you will. Alright guys, so this is what we have. Just got finished digging these two holes. And there are different variations of this uh, Dakota fire pit. This is the one that I saw and I kind of liked the most. And... Some people will kind of dig one hole for the fire and then the other hole they'll kind of do a connecting trench if you will that's facing the wind i just want to see how this one would work this variation this just the two holes about the same fight. size and ben is helping me right ben can you help me dig yeah so here's the wood i processed to kind of start the fire that's been seasoned for a while so i just kind of Split it up a little bit, made it the length of um, the hole for most of them. And so let's go ahead and get this started and see how let's it looks. Go ahead and see, let's go ahead and see how uh, what this hole looks like. I haven't, I just tossed some wood chips down in there for me splitting, but let's go ahead and have a look see. That's what it looks like. All right guys, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of drop the wood in there, drop a fire starter in there, which is just basically cotton balls and Vaseline. Big lighter. Gonna light it and see how it does. All right, so this has been burning. I haven't added any more wood for about, oh, 30 minutes. And so it gets a, a really good bed of coals down there fairly quickly. I'm just gonna add some more wood on and see if it, I'm able to uh, flare up and it should. So honestly guys, I could feed this thing for hours and hours and I probably will because I enjoy fires. Um, in terms of things I would use this for, number one is if I wanted to do any sort of um, stealth campfire, um, this definitely would fit the ticket um, because if, I mean, from a long ways away, especially if I cut the wood more to the height of the hole, 
Um, this thing would do be very, very difficult to detect uh, compared to a typical campfire. Um, number two, I think it, for me at least so far, it, it really burned down a really good bed of coals quickly. So I probably would use this for cooking. Um, if I wanted to, I could have just put a grate over the top of that pole and I could cook over those coals. Um, no problem, it put off some really good heat. Um, in terms of warmth, mm, I, I happen to personally think so far, just based on my experience here, that um, a campfire that's um, on the surface, if you will, a typical campfire, would do better just because it radiates well. But honestly, that um, I could see myself using this um, not in a dead of winter for heat. I'm camping if I wanted to put this closer by. Whoa. Um, this would actually work pretty well. Let's go ahead. The fire is kind of burning pretty good now. Let's see if it sounds any different down in that hole. Another benefit of this fire, guys, is that it's really easy to put out. Um, since I'm around here in my backyard and there are a few trees nearby, um, the one thing you do have to be careful with is it may be tempting to just dump all that dirt on the fire and put it out. For most cases that probably would work um, fine. But I'm going to go ahead and douse this thing with water um, because the danger with these fires is if it uh, manages to get a root system smoldering. Um, I've heard of cases where it could start a you know root fire and it can smolder and burn for quite a while. Um, so I will be dousing this with a bucket of water and then I'm going to fill everything in. Um, see I kept the, the sod there and hopefully it'll look like I was never here. Somewhat. Okay, I figured I'd put my money where my mouth is and show you that um, this thing really can be used for boiling water or what's not. So here it goes. Oops, some of that. <laughs> from my grill, so that leftover stuff is on fire. I should put out pretty soon. Oh yeah, water's in there. It's starting to show some small bubbles from the heat. Let me show you. It's mostly coals in there now though, so I'm not sure if they'll boil, but I guess I could feed the fire more. Let's see how the water boil is coming. Open pretty good. Not a full rolling bowl yet, which is what I want. Mm -hmm. Alright, I do want to show you guys that it does boil. So, here we go. So it took about 10 minutes, maybe 11 minutes, and still rolling pretty nicely. It is, that is way too hot to drink right now. I'm gonna let it cool off. But thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you would. I really do appreciate it. Peace out, till next time, bye.